Hi Get The Gloss, I'm Louise Rowe. And I'm Marissa Montgomery and we're going to find out what's in your beauty bag. We are. Mm -hmm. So, pore pore ointment, which I use on my lips but you can use it on dry skin or burns. Um, that, I used to see it in every single makeup artist kit. So, I just discovered this brand called Skin Inc. Have you heard of them? No. It was actually Song of Style, one of my favourite blogs. Um, I saw on hers that she'd been there in Singapore. And so I checked it out and they make bespoke um, products for you. And this is the serum. And then this is amazing. So it's Clarins. Um, I love the size first off because it's great for travelling like you. I'm always travelling around. And um, when you get a spray tan or even a real tan, I feel like your face fades first because you're washing it more and exfoliating it more. So this is actually amazing. You put a couple of drops into any moisturiser mm -hmm. and then put it on your face and it gives you the little glowy tan again. Fantastic. It's good. So now onto a little bit of makeup. This is my favourite primer. It's a really lovely brand called Jouer and the lady that runs it lives, she's from California and she really believes in sort of natural colours and really just products that make your skin glow and, and sort of very how you want it to look, basically. So I didn't even know about primers. I recently. only discovered them recently. Right? It's so important. Yes, so they, they act like the foundation, well, beneath the foundation. They keep everything in place so your makeup stays on all day. Um, and this is the one I use. I mix it every morning with this, which is a um, tinted moisturiser. I don't like foundation too much. I just find it really thick so and So do you use a tinted moisturiser instead of a foundation. I do, and I mix it with the primer. So it's quite thin, but I still see the difference. And you get the coverage. Yeah, it glows. And then I'll put a little concealer on if I need it as it's well. It's all about getting the glow. It is, babes. Perfume. Ah, now this is such a personal thing. How long have you worn this scent for? Um, that's really funny you ask. <laughs> Only about a month. Because <laughs> so some people wear the same scent yeah. their whole life. What were you wearing Completely. before? I love, actually I'll switch it up. So um, Eau de Chloe, I love the green one. And then I also love a Lancome one which comes in a, a sort of blush coloured bottle. But I'm not that fussy. I love trying different scents. And if I, one that I will always go back to is Chloe. I feel like that, that smells sort of is me, yeah. but this is Cowdery, and it's also, I love the bottle, it's got it's a wooden beautiful. lid. They're quite natural, I do like all their products a lot. I love their stuff, and it's super nice, just quite fresh, like that. Yeah, it's lovely, very summery as well. Really nice. Kate Somerville. I've heard so much about Kate Somerville, she's like the A-list facial woman to Goddess. go to, right? Yeah, she has a spa on Morrow's Place, and so she also has products, and this, again, I just go for the small bottles because they're really great for traveling, but this is actually um, a face oil. I didn't, I thought the idea of putting oil on my face was yucky until a it's while ago. It's quite scary, you think you're gonna break out. You do, but it doesn't, because your face has a really clever way of knowing when it's overloaded with oil, mm -hmm. and um, it, oil can actually dry out your skin. It's really interesting, so it, it's, I love this, and I don't use it all the time, but I'd say maybe two or three times a week at night before bed if I am, if my skin needs a drink, and I can tell. Fantastic. After a night of cocktails, for example. So that's super cute. And then, oh, I love, I'm wearing it right now, actually. Beautiful color. Getting ready for fall. Um, this one's called Saucy Jack. Butter, an un another English brand. I feel like you can never go wrong with a good red nail. Totally. It's a staple. Yeah, Mer little Merlot, this one, um, which is good. I've got it on my toes as well. Even in the sunshine, I like that colour. So do you like to match your fingernails to your toenails? I do. I, d I just always do. I've sort of, I'm more of a neat girl than someone who, I'm not cool enough to be all like chip nails and mismatched. And then, okay, I don't know a girl that doesn't have this. The Wonder Stick. This is Napoli Coast, the multiple stick by NARS. And it can be put on your cheekbones, um, on the brow, even used on the lip, or you can kind of mix it with a little bit of body moisturizer and, and get a shimmer all over. And on the eyes even, so I love it. How many have we got? Nine, okay, one Nine. more. The last one. Oh, this is such a dream product. I cannot tell you how much I love these. So they're little pots of MAC glitter, mm -hmm. but they're not the sort of thick New Year's Eve type glitter. Yeah. Um, they're very, very fine. I mean, they're actually, they're officially called pigments. 
This one is called Tan, and I wear it a lot on camera because it just gives you that really nice shimmer. So it's great for the red carpet. You, I was taught by my makeup artist how to put it on, and you do have to be quite careful. Use a brush or yeah, fingers. Once you have glitter anywhere else on your face and you move it in the light, everywhere. yeah, and you will just have a shiny face. So, um, or a sparkling face. You have to use a primer, so you could use that Jure one, but mm -hmm. there are really good MAC ones actually for your eye. Um, and then very, very gently with a brush, it's about yay wide, just pat it on. You could probably use your finger as well. It's but kind then, of like a fairy dust, just for yeah. that finishing effect, yeah, right? Yeah, just don't throw it. <laughs> so I love that as well. And it's good with a tan, it's good with a red lip or a really neutral look, so that's a great color. And that, that's it. Awesome. Thanks for having me get the gloss. Bye.